on the Odyssey minivan, you have not let me down yet. I got my solar racks and the guys there were the coolest ever. They were super enthusiastic about my project. So enthusiastic that they gave me 11 free solar panels. Can you freaking believe that? I'll never understand why these big industries just throw away perfectly good materials. But I'm really happy that the guys who were there sent them on to a good home. I've got all my marks laid out where I'm gonna drill my holes and we're gonna drill holes. Safety gloves, safety goggles. Super cool shirt to be wearing at 90 degrees inside of a tin can. First I'm gonna make a little hole with a smaller drill bit so that my bit doesn't wander so much. All right, you get the point. Got a bunch more of those. is drilled. Whoa. I want to take a second to show you how this stuff works. First of all, it's made by a company called Iron Ridge. I chose it because it's very simple. You have an L foot, stainless steel bolt, lock washers, and nuts. All the rest of this stuff, the stuff made by Iron Ridge is aluminum. That L foot attaches to the roof with some roofing silicone around the bolt hole. And you've got this little bolt attachment. This goes in here, and as you tighten it, it uh, tightens. Your solar panels, you've got one on either side and they just tighten down. There's also end pieces. It's super simple. By the way, for 34 feet of racks, stainless steel hardware and silicone, I spent a little over $500. And I said, no, 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 no. I said, This right here is called a bonded splice. This is how you attach two pieces together. So, okay, now I'll go attach this. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Oh, we're losing it. Oh, we lost it. You got a cage, but you forgot how to lock it. Head full of questions that'll keep me free. Last thing I want to do is uh, make sure that these two rails are square. So I'm going to measure to the same point, 32 inches, 32 right here. All right, so I'm going to take a diagonal and hopefully they're the same. So I got 58 and a quarter. Oh, 58 and a quarter and a tiny line. Does anybody else do that? 58 and a quarter and one tiny line. So dumb. I mean, you're not dumb if you do it, but. 
So anyways, we're off by 16th. I could care less about a 16th. All right, I just gotta tighten it all up. I said, no, 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 no. buy that gorilla pod so bad this thing's driving me nuts I'm gonna buy it tonight it's really hard to buy camera gear when you're spending all your money on bus stuff it's hard to buy anything I got my eyes on your bathroom window I ain't bad I'm just looking for a shadow and I got just one reason to keep you around uh. All right, you guys get the picture. I'm done. These end caps on here make it look pretty. Ugh. My neighbor and uh, mentor for a time, he was a carpenter, he said never use your hand as a hammer. Actually, you know, he said never use a drill as a hammer. I don't know if he said anything about your hand, so maybe I'm okay. No, 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 no. Well, it's been like two weeks since I installed these racks and there's been a lot of rain and three or four of these bolts or nuts are leaking and I think the reason is pretty obvious I just probably didn't put enough sealant around the bolt hole when I smushed these L feet on didn't make the perfect seal and also as you can see water can pool here but in the meantime I've also learned lock washers for this application are not the best thing there is uh, nylon lock nuts are the best for vibrations which is obviously the main concern here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off all this hardware and I'm gonna get a nice broad flat washer I'm gonna get a nylon lock nut and I'm gonna replace all these with those. Mummies! Nova and I took a trip to the hardware store. Did you like it? I made some changes to the solar racks. I lengthened each side. So now they come all the way to the end and they even extend a little bit. Why not, you know, more options. Maybe I'll cut them here in the future, but for now, they're here. I also replaced my lock washers and nuts all the way through. Hopefully, with that, the solar racks are done. 